What's up guys? My name's Gilbert and I'm playing some Diablo 3. And you might be wondering, but Gilbert, why are you playing this game? This is a bad game. You should hate it, because Diablo 3 is bad and Diablo 2 was a lot better. So why am I playing this? Well, I'm playing this because I want to show you that it's not bad anymore. So, if you're like me, you probably played Diablo, or will at least bought it. I played it for quite some time. If you can look here at my play time, I've got 188 hours on Barbarian, 48 hours on the Demon Hunter, 13 on the Witch, and for, yeah, you can see it's a lot of hours. I've spent a lot of time within this game, even though I'm not, <laughs> don't have that good gear. But anyway, and like me, you you played it, and that. And then you quit because you realize when you hit max level, there's nothing to do basically. So what's the point? You, the only thing you did was to farm gear, to no, to farm. You no, know, the you farm to get better gear so you could farm faster. And you know, that's that's basically how Diablo 2 was as well. But you know, a lot of people didn't see point of it, point in in it. And yeah, I didn't after a while either. So I quit and well. I actually never quit entirely. I've played from time to time, but I haven't played in a long time since this patch. So yeah. But anyway, so in this video I'm gonna take talk about the new features in the latest patch in Diablo 3 and possibly a, a little about the features in the Reaper Souls. The latest patch is called patch 2.0.1. Well, to be honest, it's actually 2.0.2 .2 because there was a minor bug fix, bug fix patch that was released call that but it's 2.0.1 that we're gonna talk about because it's what brought all the nice features so it's been online for the on Diablo 3 for a little more than a week I think or maybe a week I know some somewhere around that period of time and it has gotten some great reception but anyway we're gonna start it and see what's so if we go in here and we see a new bar called what's new so we're gonna check it out so this these are new features in the Reaper of Souls um, we got a new Crusader class we haven't gotten this yet by the way you have to buy Reaper of Souls and we got a new Crusader class we got a new act this is a really cool class if you haven't checked out this it's basically like the Templar but more badass and we got a new act act 5 which is it's looking pretty good I, I would have wanted more acts than that but it's still looking nice we, and the adventure mode, this is like the key feature in Diablo 3 Reaper Souls that's gonna make the game be good again. Because basically what it is, so now, you're, when you're playing, you're bound to quests, so you, you have to do quests in order to progress in the world. So that's really linear and you can't really go wherever you want. But with adventure mode, you can. So you can go wherever you want on the map and you're not bound to do any quests. You can do what the hell you want. And... Then you also get this like Nephilim rifts, which are like rifts with, no, with swarming monsters, and you get loot. I mean, it's it's gonna be great, and you're gonna get like this, these portals as well, so you can you're gonna get to like an endless dungeon. So you go into a dungeon, you have to collect items for it. It doesn't, but I don't think it's available yet, but it will be. So you're gonna go through this endless dungeon, facing a lot of monsters, and gonna have fun. Yeah, it's. So it's, this is gonna make the game a lot less linear, and gonna probably gonna provide you with a lot more longevity. And the new music, it's basically like reforging in WoW, and also like transmogification. So transmogging is that you change. So you, with this music, basically, you can either change one of your gears that you're wearing currently to look like another piece of gear. So without you actually have to wear that other piece of gear. So if you have a gear with good stats but it looks ugly, you can change it to another appearance if you want to. And the, you can also change reroll items attributes, so you can change one stat to another. Let's say you have you have an ox with like you're a barbarian with it you have an ox with intelligence, you can change that to another stat. That's not so that's not here yet, but we'll we'll get that. But let's go on to this page and see what's introduced in this patch. So I'm gonna talk a little short about this and then go on and actually show you some of some of this. So we're getting introducing loot 2.0. I might have time to show you that, but basically what loot 2.0 is, that's one great thing as well. That's probably the 
biggest reason for you to get into this patch. So loot 2.0, also called smart loot, which is, which, yeah, that's what it's called here, as you can see. It's it's basically a system which detects what gear you have, what class you're playing. So then, the gear that's gonna drop, it will have a higher chance of dropping gear that's actually good for your character that you're currently playing on. So you base you basing the chance of getting good gear for your character will basically be a lot bigger, and especially with the removal of a auction house. I don't know, I actually didn't mention it, but they're gonna remove the auction house. So yeah. Not a really good. I, most of you probably didn't like the auction house, but so that's not. I don't think you're crying about it a lot, but but yeah. So that this is gonna be good. So it won't actually matter. So you're now actually gonna be able to play the game. And that I mean, like with the removal of the auction house, it will be full. It's still here, but it will be fully closed down on March March the March the 18th. And that's the thing, because now they're making so that you, there's a high chance of finding good loot and they're removing the auction house. Th that's, I mean, that's like the biggest fix in my opinion, because whenever I try to log into Diablo 3, I, you know, I just quit almost immediately because I knew that the best gear to loot, the best way to find gear is to buy and sell things on the auction house and then just, just sit on the auction house. And that was so boring and I had, then I didn't want to farm and so on, so... Yeah, that made me not want to play the game. But now we're going to be able to play the game. So that's going to be great. But yeah, you should probably still use, you know, use the auction house until it's gone. Because you can make some gold of it. And you're going to need the gold later in Reaper of Souls. But anyway, so let's go on here. So they've added new difficult settings. I'm going to show you those in a second or soon. And update Paragon levels. So, and clans and communities. I'm going to show you clans and communities as well. But app. The day Paragon levels is real nice because before Paragon levels used to be boring, you just leveled up and you got some stats, and that's it. But now, all Paragon levels are shared within with all characters. So if we continue here and look here, you can see at all my heroes that all of them are at level Paragon level 28, e even if it's not max fully leveled, and that's. So, and yeah, that's because the Paragon levels are, are being shared now, so I can obviously only level up Paragon levels on a max level character, but this this one, this character still gets it, and it still gets, no, the, the benefits of it. And I'm gonna show you how, how they've changed it as well with the stats, it's pretty cool. And as you can see here, this is only Paragon level 11, this is one as well, but these two are hardcore characters, so they only... So they share their Paragon levels while softcore characters share theirs. And before I go on and show you about a little, a little, a little bit more about Paragon levels and uh, going into the game and so on, I'm just gonna sh well, just want to show you these communities. So now we added the, the clan feature. So basically it's like a guild in one of your group of players in, you know, that have a chat and so on. I actually haven't been in Clan Diablo 3 yet, but... So here, we, if you pre press, you know, if you press this button, we get this window, and we find see a lot of clans. So S, let's check this clan, SK Gaming. So, so this we have a lot of clans we can join. Here. We can just press join clan when you apply. Let's, okay, this can okay. Maybe it's because this has the maximum amount of players. I think you can only have 150 players. So, but anyway, so this is. You can apply to a clan here, you can create a clan with a tag and a name and choose whatever language your clan is going to be speaking. And then you can also join clans. So this is the clan description. So the clan leader puts the description of the clan. So like here. Uh, okay, so they're actually accepting play. So they only accept players with a lot of damage. I, I only have like 50k. So And so yeah. If you can, so yeah, they, they seem to be a bit more hardcore, you know. But, but yeah, but even though Diablo 3 isn't like, no, you don't have to be social in Diablo 3 to play it or enjoy it, because you you can play it for yourself and it can go just as well. But in my opinion, Diablo 3 is, I mean, I think it's a lot more fun if you're playing with other players. I mean. 
if if you just play with some friends over Skype or Teamspeak and just do some mindless farming while they're talking shit, I mean that's, I mean that's I I enjoy that really. And if you don't have any real friends to play Diablo, some of mine, if you can see, as you can see, I've actually come back to try the patch, but but they all quit. They all quit before, so yeah, I don't know how long they're gonna be playing. Hopefully, they're gonna stay, but. But I mean, if you can join a clan and you can get some players, get some friends, and you can just play and maybe get no, get some help with farming. I mean, it's it's gonna be nice, I think. It's nice. It, it's it's at least nice that you give you this possibility to be social, even though you don't actually have to be social. But yeah, so we've checked out that. So then we're gonna go into the game and gonna show you a bit about the stats and so on. So as you can see here. They've changed the interface a bit, so this is the adventure mode. It, I can't press it yet because, well, I don't have Reaper of Souls. So I cannot have, only play the campaign, but we can choose later on here. And now I've, now I've chosen a quest here. Uh, I can just... This is as usual, I can just choose this. And uh, this is a public game, though I'm gonna go into private game, I think. And you probably know about this. This is from before, Monster Slain Brawl and Keyboarding. What kind of game you wanna join? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into private game and here you see the difficulty settings that I was talking about earlier that's new so before you used to have like this system called like normal okay I don't actually know but there was like four difficulties and you had to progress each through each one of one of them to, to get to another one so if you, you progress through normal got to that difficulty then to the next then to the next and it took a lot of time and it was kind of boring and repetitive but in this difficulty you're basically I'm not convinced entirely, but you, you basically you can basically just set the difficulty you want, you know, from the beginning. So if you want to play on normal, you can play on normal. If you want to play on hard, you can play on hard. And as you can see here, as we go up in difficulty, the rewards are gonna increase. So 100 extra gold bonus, 100 extra XP bonus, bonus and rewards. Award double blood shards. So blood shards are gonna be currency which you can buy some gear for later on. So you're gonna want that. So if you have good gear, you most likely want to progress in difficulty, and which is exactly like the old system. And here you can even no, here there's even like a slider which makes it even more difficult. But the monsters are also gonna be a lot more difficult. And yeah, so I don't know which one I'm actually comfortable with. I, I think Torment, I, I could survive, but it took a bit long time, so I think I'm gonna choose Master just because. So, yeah, we're gonna choose Master, and now we've chosen that, and doesn't really matter what quest we're on. Let's, let's have this quest, Act 3 Siege Breaker, and just resume the game. Huh. <sighs> Now we're in the game, and it looks kind of like before. I don't know why I'm getting this lag, but okay, never mind. So, we get, if we press our inventory, you can see that some things have changed. Have changed. So there's a bar called Paragon level. If if we press that, we get this window. So basically, what this is. So for every oh, actually, I actually haven't spent one. That's great. So for every level, Paragon level you level up, you're gonna get one point in one of these. No. In one of these, you know, things. So I'm in either core offense, defense, and utility, and then can spend them on different things. Like if I, I, I can reset my points anytime, I, whenever I want. So I have seven points here right now, so I can spend them just as I want. Like in movement speed, max fury, I tell this strength. I'm gonna spend them in strength right now, I think, because I don't know. Actually, don't know if I need anything of this as of now. And offense, I can spend some if I want to. Uh, I've spent some in critical hit chance and some attack speed. I I just spent randomly, so like don't ex don't spend like me. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. And defense, um, I don't know what I'm gonna choose. Maybe some maybe some more life. Why not? And some area of damage. I do some. I'm a a weak class or a weak spec. So that's really cool. And this is shared with all characters. So and that's kind of though thing that's pretty overpowered so let's say 
I have like a level 10 character and I have I'm level Paragon level 500 because it's not there's no limit anymore you can level up as high as you want to that's at least what I think they've said so if you're level 1 and yet you're like level Paragon level 1000 you're gonna at, at that level you're gonna be way overpowered but I mean it's kind of fun to be overpowered really so I don't actually see that as a problem I actually see that as something more fun and I mean you don't have to spend any points if you don't want to and you can always hide difficulty so I don't think that's gonna be a problem because you're gonna have to be in a really high pagan level to actually no to actually reach that, reach that state and further on they've also changed some skills so uh, they made. Oh, I'm not gonna go through all these changes, but they've changed some skills. So I mean, so how some s stats. I mean, how some stats work. So I think they've removed like damage dealt. Yeah, life percentage. Uh, let's see here. Life. Life. Okay, it's actually normal, but as you level up over level 60, which you can with Reaper of Souls, it's it's gonna it's gonna decrease, so it's not gonna be as effective anymore. So some overpowered stats they've changed that. that the hero of would be more light. Shut up. <laughs> and and yeah, I'm gonna see. Here. And they've also changed some like toughness. Um, they also no changed displayers. So they used to be deep DPS here instead of damage, which I think was more handy because the DPS is what you want to look at basically. And they've also made toughness, so this is the maximum amount of damage you can actually take. When, you know, it's not only my health, it's it's everything, no, they've counted everything to this. So it's my armor, my oil resistance, my dodge chance, and you know, everything. So that's pretty nice. And this is my healing, like... All the healing I get, like life steal and and life per second and so on. So I feel like, yeah, some nice changes. And they've also changed some stats. So they've actually ruined the Werewolf Barbarian because they've changed. Because there was like one skill battle rage that made you get fury for every time you crit it. So if you made like a lot of werewolf wound, you're gonna crit all the time. You could, and you would have unlimited fury. And they've changed that. So that's. Let's see here. So yeah, as you can see, there's no rune for it that provides critical hit chance. But but yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty bad because it was a fun, no fun spec to play. But so I've, I've you know I've just come up with my own here, but. And I don't know how long I've been talking. Maybe a bit too long, but anyway, um, probably don't want to see any in this lane. But we might actually do one thing. So I'm gonna go to this bridge here. So they've also changed some of the bosses, and I'm just gonna skip all these. Okay, I'm not gonna. But but the basic, you know, the core gameplay is still the same. Just slay monsters like you used to, and bam, and I'm like this, and I'm like killing everything. So this is obviously gonna be the same, and oh, these things are so annoying. I'm not even following my rotation, but what the hell? Stupid thing. But the maps is, are still gonna be here. It's not like, like, there's not that much new actual content that's gonna be added. So you're gonna see like a new act and so on. But I mean, these acts are still basically gonna be the same. So if you're tired of them, well, they're gonna be as as they were. So don't expect anything new out of that. But I'm, but I mean, it's still an overall. I mean, the change they're making. I think that. It may not seem much, and they should have done it a lot quicker, I think. Because they should have focused on the, making Diablo 3 a better game a lot quicker, but... It's still... I don't know. They're still good. I mean, it feels like they're really improving the game, and... 
if you really like Diablo but you're tired of it as it is now, then well, then you should buy Reaper of Souls and you should start playing with this patch. Just try this patch now. I mean, and just just do some farming and see what gear you're gonna get. Actually, I haven't got any gear yet, I think. But but yeah, and I mean, if you don't like Diablo 3, well, maybe don't buy Reaper of Souls, but still do. I mean, it's a bit expensive. Forty dollars is it's overpriced, I think. But. But yeah, I think I think it, it's really gonna make everything a lot better. But yeah, um, gonna run away from these guys because they are annoying. But yeah, um, this is really all I had to say about the patch. Um, please, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like the video, and you can also tell me what your opinions on Diablo 3 is by commenting down below. And if you're gonna play Reaper of Souls or not, and why aren't you gonna, and so on. But anyway guys, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.